What's good with y'all? I'm back at you with another video. And uh I just wanna uh thank everybody that been tuning in. You know, anybody that's watching my videos, anybody that's subscribed, like I said, I send y'all the utmost love. Thank y'all for supporting me. And um today I wanna talk to y'all about false idols. Because I feel like it's I seen something and I feel like ain't nobody talking about it. So, you know, I want to shout out Rashad Jamal because, you know, he inspired me to make this video. You know, y'all need to go tune in to him, too. You know, another powerful guy who's speaking, you know, for the people. And, uh, you know, he inspired me to make this video because he said, you know, is is you know, a lot of people who just not talking about it and not saying nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? And it's something that really needs to be talked about. It really needs some light shed on it so we can get some answers because it's weird to me. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, y'all can take it however y'all want to take it, you know? But, um, so yeah, false idols, you know? So it's, this woman called Kathy Pondexter, right? I don't know if y'all know her, but you can look her name up. You can Google her name. Her name is Kathy Pondexter. She's a WNBA player, if you don't know, right? So look. Well, former WNBA player, she's retired right now. I think she retired in like 2018, uh, which is not that long ago, right? Um... You know, she was raised in Chicago. She was born January 7th. That's two days after my birthday. You know what I'm saying? She's known for her scrappy play, quick crossover, and her mid-range jumper, right? That's what she's known for in the NBA, right? And um, another thing is she was voted, uh, voted the top 15 in WNBA history, right? Meaning, like, she she's one of the best, the 15 best women basketball player, like, to ever do it. Like, she's, like, the top 15, she's, she's in that. She's, she's one of the best WNBA players to touch that court. You know what I'm saying? So, this woman career as far as basketball is validated you know what i'm saying so she's not just some random woman out here making making accusations about somebody trying to trying to you know get some clout or trying to get some money like she even though they don't really play pay the WNBA players um they don't really pay them like they play the the nba but still, you know, they make a comfortable living, you know what I'm saying? So she don't need to be chasing no money or no none of that, right? But, you know, what I'm about to say, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can just just do your own research on this. Like I said, I'm just, I'm just shedding some light on it, right? Because I feel like, look, our, our kids are being abducted, our, our black women are being abducted and, and, and put into this, this trafficking mess. And y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, I got to watch what I say when I'm talking on here. You know what I'm saying? So with this trafficking mess, y'all know that. You know what I'm saying? So we just think, or most people might just think that it's just random street thugs or, you know, just random people out here just doing that mess, right? Because when we see people get locked up for it, we just see crazy looking people. You know what I'm saying? But that trafficking mess is really, is really real out here. Like we have to protect our kids. We have to protect our goddesses out here, bro, because it is a, bro, they snatching them up, bro. I'm not making this up. We, we, we know this. Like, I think a, a kid or a woman get get kidnapped every 30 seconds somewhere in the world something like that man it's like it's a real thing bro okay so she was reported missing you know what i'm saying um like two years ago i think 
she 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 retired from the the WNBA in 2018, right? So like two years ago, I think, you know what I'm saying? She was, you know, not found. You know what I'm saying? I guess reported missing, whatever, right? But that was after she had got arrested on like some battery charges or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I ain't even really looked too too much into that, right? But because the story just don't even sound crazy. Because how how you how you get locked up and then some way somehow you just reported missing after that you know what i'm saying like that don't even make sense right so okay so then i read that they found that she was safe right but the only reason that they found out that she was safe was because she went live i think she went i don't know if it was instagram or facebook but she went live on social media and that's the only way that people knew that, okay, well, she's safe, you know, because we haven't been able to find her for two years, right? So they didn't even know where this woman was. She just been gone out of nowhere for two years. I mean, she's just been gone, you know, out of sight for two years, and then out of nowhere, she just pop up and go on live, right? So I want y'all to go look up her name, bro, and go look up her live. And see what that woman said, bro. But I'm going to tell you what she said. But I want y'all to go look for y'all selves. Because people not just going to believe me. You know what I'm saying? You need to have a real life experience. And go experience it for yourself. For you to get a greater understanding of what I'm trying to say. I'm just here to shed some light on it. And like I said, the name of this is, is False Idols, bro. Because we put too much power into these entertainers out here to these celebrities when they don't really care nothing about us y'all and 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 like i said this this sex trafficking mess this you, you know that's going on bro these you think they not into it like listen i just said this 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 woman is validated like she is was in the nba you know what i'm saying she from chicago it's people who know her, grew up with her, all that stuff, y'all. So she's not crazy, y'all. She's not crazy. So people trying, they people trying to like, like slander her name already. When she came out and said that LeBron James, who 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 anybody who loved basketball loved this man, look up to this man, said that that. You know, this man has been sex trafficking women, black women at that. And that that you basically saying that that's why she was missing. That's why she was missing. And she ended up getting away from it and then going live and, and exposing the truth, saying that this man, you know, was sex trafficking women, basically. And and not only that, but she said he tried to get her son involved with it you know what i'm saying and then she like they they cleared her bank account she ain't have no money no nothing you know what i'm saying and anybody who know what's going on bro like if 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 you in the industry right they got access to all that stuff you know what i'm saying so if you ever try to flip on them and expose something or say something that you're not supposed to say bro one they gonna make you look crazy or two they gonna lock you up. yeah they're gonna lock you up or three bro they gonna take everything from you so you can't do nothing bro you feel me so I mean, y'all take it however y'all want to take it. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people ain't going to want to believe that. Like, nah, man, LeBron James, you know, he, he got all this money. He, why would he be, you know, trafficking women and doing, you know, anything like that? That's because y'all believe in these people and think that these people be regular people, man. But when you in this industry, whether it's sports, whether it's music, you know what I'm saying? Acting. 
it's all it's all a part of hollywood bro it's all one big stage bro it's all one big agenda bro to destroy you or to distract you bro period that's all it's for you can look at it like man look i don't i ain't even on no spiritual no none of that nigga i'm just trying to watch the game i'm just trying to chill and watch the game okay cool cool but while you sitting there watching the game and stuff like that, bro, you 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 don't know what these people is doing off the court, first off. And then secondly, bro, you just sitting there tuning in to that, bro, when you can really be doing something that's 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 putting you on your soul mission. That's that's you know helping you do something that's bettering yourself. You know what I'm saying? The game, watching the game, that's cool, but they ain't doing nothing for you, bro. You feel me? Like I said. Everything here in front of you is either made to destroy or distract you. So you think, man, I'm just chilling, watching the game. But to these oppressors, they they got you off your soul mission. They got you away from finding out who you are or enlightening yourself in any type of way. They got you tuned in right here to this TV for hours at a time. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole purpose of the TV. The whole purpose of these phones that we own, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, whatever. That's, you know, neither here or there. You know what I'm saying? You you get it or you don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to wake my people up, man. So, you know, I'm going to just put it to you how it is. And you take it and you do what you want with it. You feel me? So, yeah. So, bro, like, you know. We, we believe in a lot of false idols, y'all. Like, you know, little dirt popping out here. Little baby popping out here, bro. But you feel me? We love their music. You know what I'm saying? But like all these, all these celebrities, all these, especially people in the music industry, bro. Like little dirt just got all this death around him. All, everybody just dropping left and right. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially after that Vaughn situation. Like, bro. Like, come on. Like. Cause and and every time somebody die around him, bro, that he get more publicity. He get more more views. Which is getting him more money, bro. He is gaining off these people death. He's sacrificing these niggas, bro. And I mean, y'all, like I say, y'all can take a however y'all want to take it, bro. But I'm telling you, like, it's it's a whole bunch of mess. Like, y'all, y'all don't know. Y'all see these people turn on these cameras and stuff like that, bro. And y'all think that that's their life. You don't know what they be doing. You don't know what these people into. But I'm telling you, the truth is starting to come out, man. And y'all can call this woman crazy. You can call me crazy. So I guess everybody that come out. So, okay. Okay, so if that's the case, then we we gonna say that all the women that came out and said Bill Cosby was this and that, they crazy. All the women that came out and said R. Kelly was doing this and that, they crazy. You feel me? This woman came out and said, you know, put a name on it. You feel me? Put a name on it. We gonna call her crazy. Y'all gonna call me crazy just because I got a different belief and I choose not to believe in, in what our oppressors have forced on us. You gonna call me crazy? I mean, that I don't care. You feel me? I told you, but I'm just saying, y'all, we can't just dismiss everybody just because, you feel me, this and that. Like, we have to really, like, give people a chance. Like, you know, this woman, like, you can look it up. She was reported missing, y'all. Y'all don't know what that woman went through. And then, and then if she was reported missing, you think, you think if she didn't go through something real, you think that, okay, let's, let's, I'm, I'm missing for two years, right? And then I finally get back to civilization or whatever, right? I finally get back to a safe place, right? You think the first thing I'm going to be thinking about is going live? Like what? Bro, this woman went live so she could speak her truth. So if anything happened to this woman from here on out, bro, y'all know what's going on. And that's why I'm sitting here speaking on it. You feel me? Like, 
Bro, we got to stop giving these people so much power and stop worshiping them, bro. I told you we are guys and goddesses, bro. If you a black or Latino, bro, we are the guys. Worship yourself. Pray to yourself. You feel me? We want to downplay each other and this and that, bro. You know what I'm saying? But then you want to up these rappers and, and we supporting them. You know what I'm saying? You going streaming their music, going and paying to be at their concerts. If they come into a local club, you you going and, and getting tickets and this and that, bro. For what? You supporting these people's career and they don't give you nothing back. Nothing. You feel me? But me or somebody else, you know what I'm saying? We 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 got to go through the most this just to get unity, y'all. But y'all love these celebrities though and it's crazy you know what i'm saying y'all a love on a celebrity that don't care nothing about you you'll probably never get to interact with this person for real for real you know what i'm saying and if you do it's only for like maybe you might get a little picture or something if you lucky maybe if they feel like it you feel me these niggas be hollywood as hell man they don't care nothing about you they ain't helping you pay no bills and no none of that but you you putting your money and all your energy and all your attention into their career why they why you just watching them go up and up and up they flashing he hella money jewelry and all this all the shit that you don't got and then and then let another fellow guy or goddess or something have something nice we'll talk we'll talk we'll talk junk about them we you know what i'm saying you'll hate on them you feel me you'll be jealous of them But all these rappers doing this mess, though, flashing all this stuff, all this material stuff that y'all idolize, you feel me, that y'all think is cool to have, and, 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 and you not cool or you not popping if you don't got this and that, you feel me? Like, we got to come up out of that, y'all, but... I just, I just, I just want to, you know, just shed some light on that, man. Like we, we, we got to stop, like we got to stop giving these, these, these entertainers, these celebrities so much power, y'all. Cause we don't know what they, we don't know what they be doing in their personal life. And I'm trying to tell you the truth is being revealed. This matrix is cracking down. Like, like the earth, I'm telling you, is going back to its natural state state. And so are we. We going back to our true God divinity. That sun hot as hell outside, ain't it? I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all. But we good though, you feel me? Cause that ain't gonna do nothing but power us up, y'all. So I'm telling you, don't don't move with no fear. Don't don't move with none of that. Get you some water, get you some good fruit, get you some good vibes, you know what I'm saying? And, and we gonna rise straight up, you know what I'm saying? We gonna rise straight up, like, like stop, stop, stop putting so much energy into the social media stuff. Stop putting so much energy into into these false idols, y'all. Even these religions. Cause when I come and talk to y'all and give y'all my truth, it's not gonna never change up. I'm coming to y'all straight, bruh. Hey, I'm not hiding myself. I'm not trying to be somebody else. I'm not trying to talk like I'm somebody else or or no none of that. You feel me? I'm coming to y'all as I am. You feel me? So it's like, like I one encourage y'all to do the same, and two, don't 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 give. Like, all that same praise that y'all give these celebrities, y'all, basically what I'm trying to say is just start giving that to yourself. Because these people don't care nothing about us. I promise you they don't. You feel me? And and I'm telling you, y'all need to, I'm telling you, go watch her live. Cappy Pondexter, go watch her live. I'm trying to tell you, bro, and don't, you know what I'm saying? That woman is not crazy. She has no reason to say nothing like that that she just said. You feel me? This woman been missing for two years, bro. And the first thing she do is go live and say what she said. 
and speak on LeBron. You feel me? Like, bro, and ain't ESPN ain't said nothing about it. Ain't nobody talking about it. We just going to dismiss it. You feel me? But this woman obviously has been abused in some type of way. She was missing. She ends up getting away and like, oh, so now we just going to say she crazy. Cause she, cause she said something just so out of there that people just not ready to accept that our celebrities be sex trafficking women, and that that is a whole agenda too. Why they want our kids, which are pure souls? Why they want our women, who are like I said, are the supreme God, the creator of life. That's no coincidence, bro. That ain't no coincidence, bro. Open up your eyes, man. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna hold y'all too long, man. I just wanted to shed some light on that. Y'all go do y'all own little thing, but please shed some light on that, man. Because that is a goddess, y'all. That's one of us, y'all. And she said she was abused. So we need, we need, we need to start unifying and we need some answers about that. For real, for real, bro. Cause that woman ain't crazy. She wanted the she wanted the greatest, the top fifteen y'all to touch that court, the greatest to ever do it, y'all. That woman ain't crazy, she not crazy, because she says something that sounds so crazy to believe. We just gonna say she crazy? No, man, nah, we ain't gonna do it like that. We not gonna do it like that because I know it's people who done been through some real stuff and went and 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 told somebody in confidence. And then that person wrote them off and didn't believe them because of because of the person involved in the situation. You feel me? Like, no, we 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 ain't gonna we ain't gonna do that. We not gonna do that, y'all. We need to shed some light on that. Like, share, comment, subscribe, y'all. Peace. I'm out. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm out.